Does this say what I think it says? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> These are three of the most rare, most sought-after, valuable GameCube games that there are. Let's sell this entire thing to you guys. Chase thinks that we're doing a normal unboxing, but I have a devious idea. Chase after the right price. So I'm sitting at my desk and out of nowhere, I get a Facebook message. Now this message was from Sean, a viewer that I've done a ton of deals with in the past. But this message was like none of the others. He wanted to sell me everything. So Sean is a good dude and I've done a lot of deals with him in the past. We've done trades, we've done all sorts of stuff, even with his son Jackson. And he has an amazing collection and reached out to me and said, hey, I wanna sell the whole thing. Would you be interested? And I said, <laughs> all right, <laughs> games? Games, games is what he sent pictures of and it didn't disappoint. So as I was scrolling through the pictures, my mind was blown with some of the grails that were within this collection. Thing is, I actually already have most of them in my collection. So I figured, let's sell this entire thing to you guys. And that's what we decided we're gonna do. So buying the collection today, within what, 72 hours, we're gonna try to sell the entire thing holding nothing back and you will not believe some of the pieces that are in here, including some major GameCube Holy Grails. So Chase thinks we're doing a normal unboxing, but I decided to switch it up. I had been following this collection buy from behind the scenes for a while, and I actually got a couple sneak peeks at some of the items that were in this collection, including three of the most expensive GameCube games you can buy. I thought it'd be fun to test Chase's video game knowledge with some trivia questions related to the contents of this collection, but I wanted to come up with a way to reward him for getting questions right and punish him if he got questions wrong. And I struggled with this idea until we got the collection in hand. Then Chase had the idea to auction off the entire collection on whatnot. So then my brain hatched a devious idea. Hey Chase, um, can you pick out 10 games for the um, video? Just like 10, 10 random games, I wanna do something with it. The front, from your collection, just like 10. Okay. Sorry, I, sorry. I, just, Rhyme or reason? Just to use them as like a, to, to stage with for the, for the video. Okay. So I had nervously asked Chase to pick out 10 random games from his collection for me. I, I haven't told him anything yet. He does not know why, but I have these games right here. Uh, this is everything he picked. So I had the stack of games that he had picked and I was about to put them all on the line. I was really hoping he wouldn't get mad at me for this. So gotta use my handy dandy new pocket knife from the 1400 knife collection. Turquoise, like it's just super it's cool. beautiful. This one caught my eye, so I had to keep it. You know what else is beautiful? What? This uh, stack of games that I had you pull out. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, you know what we're gonna do with those? What? <laughs> so, <laughs> I had you pull out a bunch of random games. I thought to add a little heat to this, since we're just unboxing, uh -huh. um, I'm gonna be giving away some of your games. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Along with this collection. <laughs> but, you have okay. a chance to save them. Okay. So as we unbox all of these, I'm gonna be asking you questions that only a real reseller would know. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, we don't okay. have to if you don't want to. I, these are just random ones that I picked, so <laughs> are you okay if we do that? I Do I get to keep it? If Yeah, if, if you get a question <laughs> right, you can keep it. Otherwise, we're, we're getting rid of it. I guess, if it's for the people. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so... Let's, let's do it. So each, each question I ask, I'm going to pick up a game. If you get it right, you get to keep it. It goes back on your collection shelf. Okay. If you get it wrong... It stays here and we auction it off with the rest of the collection. Okay. Are they hard? <laughs> I, <you'll, laughs> we'll see. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. <laughs> how, how you feel now? <laughs> I'm nervous, but uh, I'm excited. Because we, is inside yeah, of these we boxes. still get to go through some Three boxes, stuff. guys, and the retail value is around $7,000. How much? $7,000. <laughs> so we're talking gem after gem inside of these boxes, and I'm really, really excited. You know, I, I, the last three collections, I spent $34,000, and I thought, why not buy more? So here we are. Let's unbox it. Mercy. Oh, boxes and a lot more. boxes. I like the packing, Sean. Nicely done. I already see a gem right off the bat. What is Sweet mercy. Original GameCube controller. Brand stinking new in the blister pack. That's cool. 
I'm honestly. Like, <laughs> Do you have anything? I don't, I don't have this, and I'm a little bit bummed to see this one go. But we're doing it. We're we're getting rid of everything. Where are we getting rid of it? So Monday, this coming Monday, literally three days from now, 7 p.m. Eastern on whatnot, we'll be selling off the whole thing. So this controller plus everything else you're about to see, I think you're gonna want to be there based on what is in this collection. You be the judge as we unbox it. <laughs> and maybe you'll get to win some of Chase's yeah. collection stuff. And apparently some of that stuff will be on the line too. Unless I get every question right. I don't know. We'll see. That's up to you. That's up to me. I'm going to get every box queued up. I'm not going to look. All right, so everything's unpackaged. Let's dive in. So, we're going to go as quickly as possible. Starting out strong. That is a Japanese version a Pokemon Heart Gold complete. That's a strong start. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, that kind of uh, plays into my first question already. Okay. Yep. So let's let's pick a game. All right. Pokemon Tournament. All right. So this game is now on the line. I'm not too nervous about this one. <laughs> a couple of them I'm going to be nervous <clears throat> about, though. <laughs> what is the most expensive Pokemon game across all platforms? This includes like special edition type stuff. Mm. That is a good question. Pokemon Crystal. And if, if we're talking about non-licensed, I would say Pokemon Box for GameCube. That's my guess. The most expensive Pokemon game across all platforms, complete in box, is Pokemon <clears throat> Heart Gold with the figure. Oh. The figure edition, the pre-order exclusive. <laughs> yeah, that nobody, that's so rare. According to this, complete in box, $1,450. Oh my gosh. Yeah, heart, so... I'm pretty sure I had that as a kid, too. I don't think I what? have it anymore. <laughs> oh, no. That's a shame. Holy cow. This is a pretty good hint. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey, that plays into a question. So, fucking tournament. All right. Bye-bye. It's up for sale, too. We'll add it to the stack. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Let's keep going. Donkey Kong Country 2, complete in box. That is actually my favorite of the Donkey Kong countries. And I think you guys might notice... Everything he had is going to be in immaculate condition, because that's just how he rolls. From Sean to... Oh my gosh. That's the English version right there. So this collection, because of the condition, I definitely paid up, and I wanted to hook Sean up because we've done so much in the past. Um, so we hornswoggled a lot back and forth, and we came to a deal. So here you have it. We're unboxing, and this is a lot of fun. There you go. We're, we officially have nothing boring yet. Everything has been very exciting. And I'm going to imagine that the rest of this box will be, too. And there you go. Oh I actually goodness. just traded this to him. <laughs> Which is crazy that this came from my collection. Or, no, one of the collection buys. He wanted it in a trade. We made the trade, and then soon after, he sold the collection right back to me. So that's kind of wild. Full circle on that one. Then I'll be selling it again, and whoever buys it wants to sell it back to me, let me know. <laughs> then we got Mario is Missing complete. Good night. This is gonna get nuts. And this box already looks to have some sealed stuff in it. Dragon Quest VIII for PS2 with the outer box. That is sealed on the inside. <laughs> what? All right. I must have uh, overlooked that. And then you've got Judge Dredd sealed. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. And Resident Evil Outbreak. <laughs> this is this is getting crazy, man. <laughs> Question time. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are Which... sure about this? <laughs> I know. My goodness. All right. Question. Oh, oh what? I just got to finish it out, but that's amazing, too. <laughs> Jeez. That's pretty rare. The white version. Brand new. All right. Question time. Yep. Let's put... You know, we, we pulled out some box games. Let's, let's, let's pull out Dr. Mario from the collection. Okay. So you get to hold this. That, there you go. <laughs> what Resident Evil game is the only one to sell over 10 million copies. I'm gonna say Resident Evil 4, which came out for Wii, PS2, GameCube. So that's my guess. All right. The Resident Evil game that is the only one that sold over 10 million copies. Resident <laughs> Evil 7, Biohazard, oh one of the newer ones. No! Uh-huh. <laughs> Bye-bye. Goodbye. <laughs> oh. Over two. Gosh, I thought I had that one. Let's keep going. We got eight more games. <laughs> <laughs> It's for the people. All right, we're gonna go with the smallest box next. And I think this one, these are empty Sega Genesis cases, but I think most of them will have their manuals and there are some heavy hitters. So we'll just pull them out quickly. Toe Jam. Toe Jam. That's classic. Have you ever played that? No. Too bad. Sonic 3, <laughs> Beavis and Butthead. 
Ren and Stimpy, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter 2, oh. Ranger X, that's a nice one. That game's like very uncommon. McDonald's Treasureland Adventure, the classic, Boogerman. All right, question time. We just got a bunch of Sega Genesis. Mm -hmm. Now, Sega Genesis, they discontinued essentially everything in 1999, I think, in America, but the last game came out in 1998. What was that game? The very last? The very last Sega Genesis game. Before you answer, let's put another box game on the line. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that game might be a hint. Interesting. Battletoads, Double Dragon. Ooh, the little combo? Yes. The answer is Frogger. <laughs> <laughs> I get the hint. Yes, that, I would have never guessed that. Yes, the ever I thought that came out like soon. The ever consistent Frogger is the final official game to grace the Sega Genesis. There you go, <laughs> Bartle Toads on the line. Last box. Last box. Biggest for last. Chase, kind of looking at these games. Are, are you nervous? <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a couple in there that I'm definitely nervous about, especially after uh, going 0 for 3 so far. I wasn't going to make it easy. Hopefully they're a little easier as we get further into it. Oh, no. Oh, boy. <laughs> so this box has layers, much like Shrek. So we're doing the top layer first. GBA is what it says. I'm going to assume that means there's Sega Genesis games in here. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, there's, there's, a, there's a game. Holy cow. Glory, do I even have this right now? In your collection? I do. I think I see it. No, that's oh, that's leaf. That's leaf green. Oh my gosh! So you don't even have. So this is this is skipping your collection and going straight into somebody else's. That's... I hope it goes to a good home. <laughs> <laughs> that one's hard to see go. I realize I don't currently have this game, but that is a gem. Pokemon Emerald, great game. Question time. Blackthorn. We're, we're gonna put this one on the line. You love Pokemon. Yes. You got a big stack over there, uh -huh. which I just realized you, you might be able to cheat for this oh, question. <laughs> no looking. <laughs> How many American mainline Pokemon games are there for the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance? Like mainline, like not the mystery Both? dungeons. Yes, for Game, Game Boy, Boy and, and Game Boy Advance. Advance. And Advance. Okay. So you've got red and blue, yellow, gold and silver, crystal. I'm done with Game Boy, we got six. Then we've got ruby, sapphire, leaf green, fire red, emerald. How many is that so far? That's 11 so far. I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> no, no peeking. I think that's it. You're correct. Okay. <laughs> Eleven. You named them all too, so bonus okay. points. Yes. So you, so you get to keep it. The keep it. What does that make me? One for five? <laughs> Something like that. All right. Rapid fire on the next three. Zelda, Four Swords, Mario All Stars, and I think you can is tell that what, what I that think is. it is. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Is that? Not sealed. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon Yellow, complete inbox. All right, question time, baby. Let's okay. put a let's put a Switch game on the line. What is the highest selling Pokemon game? And then you do know that they include both versions, you know, yes. together. I'm gonna say you Red Blue. I will give it to you. They have it as Red Blue and Green. <laughs> let's go. We're bringing the heat. And uh, honestly. We still haven't got to the best part. All right, we got four little mini boxes. Aladdin, and What's I that? think he said this one was like kind of sealed or something. It does look like it's got some wrapping on it. This is an uncommon game, Tonic Trouble for N64. Completed box, which even more uncommon. Mario Party 2. Oh, wow. It's just heavy hitter, one after the other. Can I get a like for the heavy hitting games that are being sold back? <laughs> To you all in one day it's gonna be crazy sweet mercy all right and then the next one has nfl 2k that looks sealed fantasy star <laughs> online sealed test drive six for game boy color and then you've got centipede and caesar's palace so all many complete. boxed games heck yeah chase does this say what i think it says oh yeah Ooh. We're gonna do that one last. Oh, <laughs> stop it! <laughs> All right, now it looks like we've got some random stuff, like this Simpsons little handheld game. Check that out. Oh, it's a Venusaur. Custom Game Boy Advance. Dang, yeah, that's sweet. Is that like the backlit kind of thing? I, I gotta assume that it's backlit, yeah. Yeah, it might just be a new shell, honestly. And then a Nightmare on Elm Street. I think it's just like a figure. So there you go. All right, we got the GameCube and DS box cracked, but there's one more that we kind of missed. Yep, so this is a GBA game. And of course, it is a complete inbox. 
Pokemon Ooh. Sapphire, one of the 11 for Game Boy and Game Boy. Question, yes. baby. Limited edition, Streets of Rage. Okay. Four. Nice. I want the over under on a complete inbox Pokemon Sapphire. Over under 10 bucks. Yeah, so Pokemon Sapphire, I would say like 200. Oh, you got it. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. $204 complete. Oh, let's so go. So you were right on the money. Put that back so, on the shelf. I didn't even have a good spot for this one because I just got it, but we'll throw it right here. Dude, I am excited for this box. <laughs> like, I only <laughs> saw a little glimpse of it. But. We've got two more, so I set this one aside because that one is just absolutely nuts, but so is this one. GameCube and DS. Oh my gosh. gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh boy. Jeez, man, some of the stuff I forgot about. <laughs> oh my goodness. So there's the heart gold like Skylar has it at home. Yes. <laughs> You've got Pokemon Pearl. White. I have, I have that one and that one. Oh no, I have black. Diamond. Wow. And there you go. I got there that it one. Is. Maybe I just got these from your house. Who knows? <laughs> oh, oh. Let's keep it going. <laughs> Let's keep it going. Pokemon related. Sweet mercy. Oh, that's so cool. Another one that I wish was going in the collection, <laughs> but it's going in one of your guys' collections. I know it'll go to a good home. Mystery Dungeon, Ranger. We got a ton of Pokemon up in here. Rhythm Heaven, sealed. Uncommon game, and it's sealed. Then you got Duke Nukem, Star Wars Lethal Alliance. I believe pretty much everything is complete. And some GameCube. Let's get to it. Four GameCube games. I could tell that these would be a little bit lower end because they don't have collector's cases, but still actually some decent stuff with Pokemon Channel, X-Men, and Crash Tag Team Racing. So let's throw another game on top of here. Let's take, yeah. Okay. Over or under 20. How many GameCube games are there? I would say, boy, that is tough. It can be off by 20. No, I'm gonna guess it's like in the 600, 642. 653. No way! Yes. Yes. I was about to say so, 520 or something. All right. Let's go. Dang it. Sorry, guys. Got that, right. that was really good. 11 off. Oh my god. I should have done 10. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's keep going. Heavy hitters coming up. Wario World. Okay. Mario Party 4. So you're still getting Mario Party on GameCube. Wait, Zelda Wind Waker. Ooh. And then Mario Party 5, Simpsons Road Rage, and Serious Sam. Very nice. Grab that Zelda game for me, will ya? Wind Waker? Yes, and I'm gonna grab this game, Super Mario Sunshine. What are the top three selling Zelda games all time? Oh, mercy. I would say... Just give me the top three, okay. any order. I would say A Link to the Past for the SNES. Okay. I hope that's right. Um, then I would say Original Zelda for NES. Mm hmm And Breath of the Wild. Well, Chase, you got Breath of the Wild, right? Everything else was wrong. <laughs> really? <laughs> yep. Oh uh, number one, Breath of the Wild with 23 million units. Twilight Princess for the GameCube. What? Number two, with almost 9 million units sold. There's that much of a jump? And then guess what? Ocarina of Time for the, the N64. N64. Seven and a half million. So I guess... This one's going up for sale. Mario Sunshine, adding to the GameCube heat. There might be another one in here, I don't even know. And then, let's not forget the Afterthoughts, which are still awesome. These two uh, Zelda Game & Watches. And we're going to the best box of what has <laughs> already been an epic $7,000 collection. Yeah, so I'm getting it all staged so we can see everything. I've uh, also added, reluctantly, four additional games to sell including battle toads excuse me bartle toads <laughs> complete in the box so i've got four questions wrong and apparently i've gotten four right so four out of eight fifty percent we've got two more questions to go but we've got the best box of the collection gamecube grails here we come are you ready no <laughs> cue the zelda sound effect <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Ooh, we're not even talking about these. I don't even care about these. <laughs> but look at this. Oh my god. Sweet mercy. Trying to hide what's next. Wow. Because we've got another massive oh. Oh, shoot. game. And if that wasn't enough. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> these are three of the most rare, most sought after, valuable GameCube games that there are. 
and they were in one collection. Oh my gosh. And they're all going out to you guys. I'm not holding back every single thing. Oh, it's Ooh. so clean. Oh yeah, let's oh, check out the goodness. disc. Oh my gosh, let's go. So, so clean. You guys are lucky. <laughs> <laughs> the stakes are high for these. Yes. Oh my Beautiful gosh. Beautiful condition yet again. Can we go three for three? It feels good. Let's go. Look at the manuals. Oh too. my gosh. It's so. These are as clean as ever. Sean, nice job on the collection. I hope you tune in for the whatnot as well, because it's going to be epic. Sweet mercy. Heavy hitters there, and that's not all. Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Mario Superstar Baseball. Chibi Robo, pretty massive. Zelda, Collector's Edition, and Eternal Darkness. Epic. So, you got some of the, the, the most valuable GameCube games in your hand. Yes. You know what? I, I, I may have messed up and only prepared nine questions, so we're going to do double. <laughs> double or nothing. Double or nothing. Sweet mercy. <laughs> okay, Metroid Prime and Code Princess x on the line you have some of the most expensive gamecube games uh, yeah <laughs> right there in your hand but what is currently the most expensive gamecube game complete in box like gotcha force has is, is got to be close i believe number one is a game that i don't have and that is pokemon box according to price charting sonic <laughs> heroes monkey ball 2 pack oh <laughs> man that is crazy rare that is three thousand dollars complete in box <laughs> what and if you know something i don't and all of these are wrong and i just screwed chase out of his games <laughs> let me you know let me know in the comments <laughs> below and bid on these games yeah all right so we're gonna set these game games aside and then the last of the batch is snes mario world mortal kombat 2 donkey kong country 2 yoshi's island Country 1, Mario All-Stars, and Mario 64, and then a stack of DS games. And it's all going up on whatnot, guys. We're very excited about it. It's going to be massive. Hopefully a bunch of you turn out. We're going to have a lot of fun. Skylar will be there, probably Thane. So this video was brought to you by whatnot, and we are super excited to do our massive auction Monday at 7 p.m. Literally every single game, including... The three big, I mean, every GameCube game is massive. You got Cubivore, Go Go, Hyper Grind, Gacha Force, and Mint Condition Complete. They're all going up for auction. Pokemon, all of these complete ones, even the Emerald, which I don't even have in my collection right now. We're selling that to you guys uh, to show some appreciation and to have a crazy fun auction. So that will be Monday at 7 p.m. So if you don't have WhatNot, check out the link below to get $10 in credit if you use it. If you already have WhatNot, follow us at Chase underscore Adderpy and bookmark this auction because it's gonna be the craziest one that we've ever done. We will see you there. Sorry, Chase. Games, games, <laughs> games.